Well, it's been a while since I've done a herping video for you guys. And that's mostly because I just haven't found much on the few days I've been able to get out. Uh, just a lot of baby garter snakes. And I wasn't even going to do a video today unless I found something significant, but... Ah, it's been so long since I've done a video. And I found this little toad, so... I figured we can enjoy him. And I did find a few little garter snakes, but I didn't film because I didn't think I was going to make a video, but... Now I, I've started something here, so I better find something something else for you guys. And here's a little American toad. Flipped underneath this rock. I'm actually in a... Let's focus on him. Blends in good, doesn't he? Well, you can barely see him. But, yeah, let's... Uh, I'm back where we got him. And I'm actually, I don't know if you can recognize it, this is the Big Mama, the garter snakes spot, and I still haven't found her yet this year. And seeing as how the breeding is over and everyone's dispersing, my optimism isn't uh, as high as it was on finding her, but, you know, it's all part of the thrill, right? So yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna give up yet. See what else I can find. Well, there we go. Turned up a garter snake. Biggest one so far today. This is number four. Not not terrible size. For a garter snake anyway. Turn him loose. There he goes. He's a wily little fella, isn't he? Yep. Another garter snake. Different spot. First snake I found in, the, in this spot. You know, a couple months ago, flipping rocks here, you'd find uh, like a dozen snakes under one rock. Several different species. Now you're lucky to find even just a single garter snake. And that's just the way it is, you know. Spring is coming to a close. It's summer now, snakes are dispersing. They're gonna be harder to find until fall. So, you know, it's one of those situations where you just take what you get. Got my GoPro sitting in the water here. Hoping to get some neat uh, tadpole footage, maybe some newts or something, who knows, you know. Ponds changed a lot last uh, couple months. I was here filling wood frogs not too long ago and peepers and now it's just northern green frogs are here and there's still some peepers out but they're kind of dwindling now yeah. <clears throat> so uh spring frogs are finishing up their turn and got the summer frogs coming out i guess but, yeah i can see the a lot of tadpoles from around in here i think I'm not certain. I think these are wood frog tadpoles. I should have brought a net down with me. But uh, we'll we'll check out the GoPro footage later. I'm gonna just leave it here and go do some herping and hope we get something cool on there. flipping here using my phone just for uh, 
sake of simplicity. I don't know how good this footage will turn out, but you might not find anything anyway, and you might never even see this footage. In fact, if you're watching it, it's because I did find something. <clears throat> This one by hand. Yeah, check it out. A little uh, garter snake, naturally. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna be a little closer to him, but I'm not even gonna bother picking him up. Let's just leave him be. Put this right back over him. Let's see what else we got. milk would sure be nice. Black rat. Anything really. Another spot. Third spot. Third spot's a charm, right? Maybe we're going to find something exciting here. First off, I'm going to have a piece of tin stowed away up here. Got to find it. Where to go? Uh oh. Did somebody take it? Nope, there she is. Okay. There we go. Oh, please give me something good. Please, 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 please. Nah, no snake. Just one of those, like, bizarre looking uh, millipede things. Those are interesting. But I'm not herping for bugs. Not technically a bug, I know. Alright. Yeah, I'm at my other board spot. One of them anyway. And so far no luck. Last time I was here I didn't find Jack, except for a nest of uh, baby meadow voles, which is over there somewhere, and uh, my wife said to me that day, she was out here with me, she says, well if there's voles nesting here, you're probably not going to find any snakes, and then I said, if there's voles nesting here, I probably will find snakes. Oh yeah, there's a nice size garter right there. Let's see if I can get it out. Easy. Oh, where'd she go? Damn it. Oh well, we got a good enough look at her. All right, I'm gonna have to check that bowl nest. See if that garter snake, uh, Managed to find them. And if she did, or I should say if she didn't, then you'll get to see them. <gasps> nice. Look at this. Awesome flip. Two big eastern milk snakes. Look at these guys. These guys are boss. And they're more afraid of uh, the camera than me. Yeah, she kind of wants to strike the camera, you see? But um, they haven't musked or nothing. They're just perfectly placid animals. And these are just beautiful. Needless to say, the voles were not in that nest. Actually, there were some bones in that nest. So I'm going to guess these two made short work of them. But absolutely beautiful. Look at these two milk snakes. What a great flip. Love milk snakes. One of my favorite species. Absolutely thrilled to find these two here. Wow.
beautiful. I'm so glad I was filming when I flipped that. I'm just absolutely speechless, guys. I, I don't even want to put them down. Like, <laughs> I can just hold these two snakes all day. They are so tame. These are tamer than some of my snakes at home. Unbelievable. They are not worried about anything. Look at those beautiful faces. Uh, beautiful. I guess I do have to let them go. Ugh, oh, it pains me. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea. I don't want to ever put these snakes down. Stunning pair of eastern milk snakes. Oh, look at that. That would be a great picture right there. Ooh, mosquitoes. Oh. Oh. Actually, my battery's about to die. I better turn this thing off. Oh. Right back where I found them. You're going the wrong way. There you go. Oh. Stunning.